as Skip E. Lowe looks at Hollywood. It is with great pleasure that we today introduce you to a pair of the entertainment media's most enduring and ingratiating performers. They are the endearing Bar Rosemary DeCamp and the stalwart McDonald Carey. And now here's your ingratiating host, the man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. How long have you been looking at I don't know, Skippy? Rosemary DeCamp. <laughs> have you been? Huh? Have you been? Fine, don't I look all right? You look wonderful. You always, no, I you look say, fun. Well, better than I look. Hey, but you do. <laughs> what is new and exciting in Miss Rosemary DeCamp's life right now? Oh, dear. I don't know. I just got back from a 5,000-mile journey across the United States. In a car? In a car. Oh, How love about it. that? Right. Storms. Yeah. We, we missed a storm in Missouri by, oh, half an hour, I think. Uh-huh. And we read on the, uh, heard on the news that night the fish were swimming across the road. Would you believe it? Ah. <sighs> Hey, uh, you know, a lake McDonald Carey, was he in the same McDonald car? McDonald Carey, he wasn't the... on the trip with me. <laughs> I wish I Were had you... been. Oh, I could swim. Did you do that you trip, know? too, across the country? No, I, in wish America? I, I wish I had. People but... should do that more Have often, Have you ever been in I? Pig's uh, Toad Suck, uh, Arkansas? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about that? Oh, I know it. Well, I know. I know Toad the place Suck? too. Yeah. I do a commercial, and it's a. We have a representative in Toad Suck that that, that came and had dinner. Really, had dinner. I had dinner with him, and he uh -huh. ate very. The matters were Didn't very good. Didn't suck his food or anything. No. <laughs> No. Then they're smacking. You know, over. Rose, you know, I've never worked together. You've known each other We've for all. No, never have known each other. No, we never met. been in Hollywood never for Despite the years that she did Dr. Christian, uh -huh. we, we never we never. Tell did. me about Dr. Christian. You started in radio, Miss Rosemary DeCamp. Yes, yes, yes. And ago. what? And uh, what happened? Well, I don't know. I, mean, I just uh, started in radio. I, I, no, I was but, teaching in college. So but I how come you never did the movie? I, uh, well, I don't know. Was, you tell know, about it, Mac. Well, I don't know. We, 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 she, she was in the movie, you know, for uh, so many years and, and established the part. And uh, afterwards, I was to do, this makes me younger, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. So, <laughs> to say it this way. Yeah. Both of us, uh -huh. to say enduring. Yeah, that's actor, the word. <laughs> enduring uh -huh. or, or most mature. Yeah. That's the other thing. That survival is another one. Survival, that's the important. <laughs> that's the end one. But she did the movie. And I was do, going to do a series. Yes. And I was to play uh, uh, Jean Herschel's uh, nephew in the thing. I see. And Rosemary was to have been in the thing too. Right. And we were both the same same age level in mm -hmm. the whole thing. So I got out of that, didn't I? Yes. Tell me, sir. <laughs> very nice. How uh, long have you been around uh, Hollywood, Mr. DeCamp? Oh, dear. I came in, uh, well, I was shipped over here to school. I was born and raised in Arizona, shipped over here to uh -huh. school. So, right. you know, like forever. You but I did remember to ask, about, I wanted to know more about you, Mac. And I called my friend Betty Buchanan. She's kind of the sage of Hollywood. She knows everything. Uh -huh. People go to her right, right. to find out what they were wearing in 37, you know, that kind of thing. And she <laughs> said, my darling, Carrie, my darling, my beloved. She said, <laughs> I interviewed him years ago, and uh -huh. she told me all great these woman, darling Betty. things uh -huh. about you. I had no idea he was a poet. Yes, he you is. Know, a marvelous he's a great poet. poet yes, getting that's... books out. Well, that's... A tap dancer. Started <laughs> yeah, out with Gertrude yeah. Lawrence. That was his big break. D you're doing my interview. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, oh, I was busy. Oh, 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 how she about working with Ronald Reagan? Come on. Tell oh. me about Ronald Reagan. Oh, uh, well. I mean, well, you did a movie with him, This is the Army. And yes, that was a great movie. There were thousands of people, and a lot of the people were, became stars later that were in the chorus. Mike Curtiz directed it. Uh -huh. uh, the senator, you know, George, George Murphy, Murphy. Murphy. George was Murphy, my husband. Of course. World War I we did uh -huh. and World War II, it all went into the whole picture. But it was so great and so fast. Uh -huh. And of course Irving Berlin was in it yeah. himself and a lot of his great James songs. Cagney, all tell these, me. All these guys were Democrats then too. You bet. You know? Yeah, Reagan yeah. was a Democrat. I think, everybody uh -huh. was, I think everybody was Democrat those years, don't yeah. you think? All, all the nice people. Nice people. Yeah, no, nice. a lot of people. Tell me, I'm working. still a Democrat. They, <laughs> so am I. I went to I went to Ronnie's birthday party you last didn't. year You're not a in the White House. I was the only Democrat there. Come on. McDonald Carey. I was invited. I, you I swear. Invited you? I vote for straight Democratic ticket. Did he know but, that? No. No, I, <laughs> did, I didn't mention it. <laughs> I wasn't going to raise my hand, you. you know. <laughs> working with Ronald Reagan. How was it working with Ronald Reagan? Tell me. Well, uh, you know, he was, he was different then. Very different. He was a, a Democrat. He was working hard with the Guild. Uh -huh. I didn't know at the time that he had a number with the FBI and was, you know, sort of turning yeah. us all in on the side. Uh -huh. However, 
Excuse me if I said that. You know, That's I may right. be quite wrong. I've just read books about it later. I was too dumb to find out then. I, 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 think, I, think, I think that that was a little perverted, that, that particular... That possibly. Uh, I just yeah, read the I've wrong thought. books. But yeah. the movie he did was great was called King's Row, which yes. I love. Yes, where's the rest of me? It was me? a marvelous, marvelous wonderful picture. movie. He did really. a great performance. James and they're Cagney. really not fair to... Uh, to, to say Ronnie wasn't a good actor, because I think he was a good actor. He was. There's no question you know, about Rosemary DeCamp. What? James Cagney. Love oh, that movie. Oh, darling man. Him. Darling man. I was his mother in Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle. In 1941, I was his mother. Was that 1941, Rosemary DeCamp? Tell me about that. That was during the war. Something happened we about that movie on the set. You were saying something to me last time. We started uh, the morning after Pearl Harbor. That's it. With the uh, president talking on the radio and uh, the music, and then... Jimmy and Mutt came across the floor and listened, and uh, Jimmy said, I think a prayer goes in here. And uh, everybody was quiet for a minute, and then the president and the music came up. And that was Rose with Roosevelt, right? Was it President yeah. Roosevelt? Yes. yes. You know, there was an interview with uh, Hammer on, uh, on Donahue last week, and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Hammer was asked what statesman <coughs> of all the people he'd known during his life <coughs> did he think was the greatest? He said, Without hesitating, we run it. FDR, and Donahue you said, uh, and what other st statesman can you think of? Mm -hmm. There was absolute silence. That's all. Oh, really? That's all. McDonald Carey. Yeah. Poetry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me read. Poetry. Let me tell you about this book. Mm -hmm. I have a new book coming out. The first one came out in '82. I love and the title. The the further that further hill, yeah. the the uh, that's one of the poems in here. Comes with me. I read that. Or yes, read I loved it. Okay, around the corner of my eye, mm -hmm. I see the space a door makes before it shuts. At the bottom of my day, I live in that narrow place between my dream and waking. Mm -hmm. Near you in the silence when the noise stops. Yes. As near you as horizon, and reach for a stone that drops in water, fish through my fingers, dust between my toes. Ah. There is so little time for waiting. Even the flowers grow behind my back. I don't know when I stopped looking at myself in the mirror, but I stopped long ago, and not from fear of what I'd see there. It's just I do not want to know. There's always time for that, and now I know without looking. You just oh, read, that's lovely. isn't that lovely? lovely? You just read downtown and now at the... At the uh, uh, Los Angeles Theater Center, the Alan Mandel's place, yeah. It's, a, it's amazing what he's done with that uh -huh. thing. Uh -huh. they, they, we have a, a pretty jazzy company. I'll have you, uh, Yevtushenko started the series. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I love it. Was it was the first, uh -huh. that was a month, uh, a month ago, and uh, a guy by the name of James Reagan and myself uh -huh. read uh, Monday, yeah. How did, and, sh how did McDonald Carey get into poetry? I mean... Oh, I always wrote. And, always? Uh, always, yeah. I, I was writing uh, writing plays, as a matter of fact, in college at the University of Iowa. You've done a lot of Broadway theater. Yeah, like she no, said, no, you were with no, Gertrude no. Lawrence. When Lady of the Dark, and the late... I did uh, Anniversary Waltz with uh -huh. Kitty Carlisle. Right. They were both hits. Gertrude and, Lawrence, my, what a uh, wonderful oh, lady. Oh, Gertie was marvelous. What do you have yeah. some wonderful yeah. memories about her, uh, McDonald? Oh, uh, you, you, can't, you can't stop. You I know. mean, there must be something back there. But in of your all brain. the leading ladies, of course, I never worked with Rosemary. Uh, <laughs> come on, let's. But no, go no, ahead. there isn't a darn thing you can you can tell really. The the, the uh, it it all blurs together because uh -huh. those were such exciting days. I don't know because you were dancing and singing and you yes. were reaching all the time for things. Not that I'm still I am. Mm -hmm. I still am reaching a little bit. I, I think we all are. We never stop doing Gotta that. Gotta keep reaching. Yeah. Rosemary DeCamp, you've done a lot of mothers, played yes. a lot of mothers. Yeah. Why? I have four but daughters. Why? But, but you do have uh, four daughters? No, I started out playing mothers long but why? before I was married. You were young. You were well, very... Well, no, I was teaching in college and, uh, you know, before I ever got into pictures. Where so did I was you kind of Mills College in, in, in Oakland, yeah, uh -huh. I taught speech, uh -huh. and I was just one card point ahead of the class, you know, <laughs> <laughs> rather young for that, but uh, not young for movies, because, you know, in those days, 16, 13, 14 was when you started in pictures, yeah. but I had a wonderful opportunity with Tay Garnett, and um, Martha Scott got right. me the part, and uh, played an immigrant girl with a heavy radio accent, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, my ears put out, hair skin back, uh -huh. and uh -huh. got away with being 16, although I was uh -huh. much older. Then they said they loved it so much, they brought me back as an old uh -huh. lady and, 
and they did all the crepe stuff and everything. That went over better than the original performance. Uh -huh. they Martha liked the crepe. and I, have you seen her? Or Martha Skye spoke no, to me. Yeah, I, so I saw her at Yevtushenko's reading. Uh -huh. By the way, we sat together and she and I, we, our paths have crossed all the time too. Uh -huh. She was in the same Shakespearean company that I was. Oh, uh, really? After we left, uh, I left University of Iowa. I went with a Sioux City. Is Sioux that City. Is yeah. that where you're from, Madrid? That's right. And He's part Sioux. Uh, how yeah, did you? How absolutely. did McDonald Carey get into the business? Uh, well, well, I. I uh, college got right into it, or I got into. I was working for my MA, and it was during the Depression. I got a job with the uh, Globe Theater, right. in which mm, were Carl Benton Reed, Martha Scott, Davy Wayne, right. uh -huh. and uh, Carl Ben. Mm -hmm. I mentioned uh -huh. Carl Benton Reed. Yes. Uh -huh. And he left the company, and uh, he said, in the middle of Caesar in the mob scene, uh -huh. he said, "Get up and see, get up and Brutus for tomorrow." And uh, oh, he left, uh -huh. and that was my first uh -huh. real break in, uh -huh. the, in, uh -huh. in the theater. What was your first motion picture? First picture was something called uh, Doctor Broadway. Doctor they, uh, Broadway. Yeah, they, uh, they had two. Sh they'd signed another guy, uh -huh. and uh, at the same time, same week they, they signed me, and they said, "Well, we were paying Carrie too much. We'll give uh -huh. uh, we'll give this guy uh -huh. the, this gun for hire." It was Alan Ladd. And oh, they they gave me a little thing called Dr. Broadway that I've <laughs> uh -huh. forgotten. Uh -huh. But then I did uh, 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 what I did about six pictures that year before I got in the Marine were you Corps. Un you were in the Marine Corps? Yeah. For how many years? Going back to Washington uh, about two weeks for uh, the Navy Memorial thing because of Wake Island, the picture that I made. Uh, uh, you did make that. Yeah. 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 That was a great picture. A beautiful picture. It was a wonderful it, picture. It, it was a great enlistment picture. You know, uh -huh. Everybody, Bob Preston, got started in that picture. It was one of the big, big pictures for him. Robert Preston. Yeah. Bob Preston. Yes. Uh -huh. Brian Donnelly was uh -huh. in it, and, and uh -huh. uh, uh, I, I, I played a. a, a I don't want to talk too much. Come on, you're fine. You're fine. fine. No, no, I, uh, you're fine. I, I, I played the head of a squadron and uh, on Wake Island, and uh -huh. I, I had a line. Uh, when the Japanese are approaching, I say, "Fellows, prepare to engage." Now I'm in the Marine Corps uh -huh. afterwards, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and every time we got on a ship, when we would be moved from one island to yes. another, they'd see me coming in, the, all the guys in the Navy, and uh -huh. they'd all yell, "Fellows, prepare to engage!" Because uh -huh. Carrie was coming uh -huh. on. on. Uh -huh. and believe me, so I, I had no that cushy, line has lots of cushy places feeling. Rosemary De Camp, Borantine. Everybody, like mm. a cameraman, he says, "Hey, you were in Borantine." I mean, really. Yeah, Is that why a, most people, young people today, they remember you as Borentine. They don't remember, because you well, do so many character parts. Uh, uh, Mrs. McCann of McCann Erickson was uh, help doing uh, Dr. Christian. Yes. So, mm. you know, her. And uh, she said, well, you, you just keep having babies and we'll do this, you know. Uh -huh. and, uh, 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 uh -huh. I was, you know, getting along by then. Uh, but we did them with all the children. And when I finally, 25 years later, when they put me out to pasture, uh -huh. oh, you know, sometimes we did 50 cities. In a year, you know what that's like. Get really? up in the morning, yes, seven thirty. Yes. Where are we? Ooh, you know, uh -huh. mm, da, romper room recipes and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I was saying, twenty-five years later, they gave me the movies of uh -huh. all my children uh -huh. growing up. Right. And uh, well, all we have wonderful. to do now <laughs> is to say to a house guest who stayed too long, "Sit down. Let me show you my commercial." Uh -huh. <laughs> and they leave. Uh, you seem to have fun in life right now. I'm I, seeing, I looking at you, you seem time, very you? happy. Always, always. You know, always fun. such fun. We it, are so pictures. lucky. We are in the we best so business lucky. in the world to get up in the morning and know and you're going to have a good time. McDonald Carey, I want to applaud you for that. Do you know why? There are a lot of actors out there are bitter. Bitter? Why? I don't know why. They have had success and they're bitter. There really are. Oh, but really you just far, said huh? there are. But why is there? Why are they so bitter? Because a lot of big stars are bitter. Really? They shouldn't be bitter. Oh. But no. you just said you're happy. You've been lucky. You are lucky. Well, you have been lucky. How many, how many people have a business that they that they can get up to that that they love? Yes. And that yes. love going to exactly. work every day. Exactly. You have another family. Just like you, you, have you love to go to work every I day. I love it. I've been in show business yeah. a long time. I'm going to say one thing to you. Looking back over your life right now, Rosemary DeCamp, yeah. do you have any regrets? Oh, no. No. Uh, yes, I do. I lied. <laughs> we all you lie do? Okay. We all I have regrets only about my children, things I, I would have been, it would have been better maybe if I'd been with them longer, much more. See, what Gary do you mean did by this it? fabulous thing. Yeah, go ahead. He, he raised five, six children. Almost by himself, you know, yes, yes. because he was separated from his wife. No, uh, I just don't see how you did it. 
Oh, I, I didn't because she was. Uh, she, oh no, she. I can't take credit away from from Betty because she she was the one that, that did it as much as I did. How many times have you been married? I didn't do it myself. McDonald Carey. Uh, How many times? You've been married once or twice? No, no, only once. But Just with, once. With, uh, but and I still see Betty. But but uh, oh no, she worked her behind I off know, with those I kids. Know. And how many children and they, do you they have? They were all. They'd all flown the coop at the time we were divorced. So How many do you have? The, uh, how many? How many yes, children? Three boys, three boys, and three girls. And you have a lovely girl that is a singer. She's oh, a Linny, for heaven's sake. She's Let's get her on this show. I would love to. She has a marvelous yeah, singer. Her. She yeah. is marvelous. Lynn Carey. Lynn Carey. She's just, just amazing. She has, so makes good. records or what she Makes records. She sings Scott Jazz. Uh -huh. She had a, a, a rock group for a while mm -hmm. and did a bunch of LPs for Victor. And now she does, she's into jazz. How great. And she's just incredible. Where does she work? Around town here? She works around town. She uh -huh. also books people. And uh, because there's, uh, you know, she she sings at the Nucleus Nuance. Great, great room. You know that place of on course, Melrose. Of course, on Melrose. Fabulous. Oh, that's fancy. She plays. Yeah, uh, 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 oh well. <laughs> and uh, at uh, uh -huh. my place, there are a lot of uh -huh. places. Tell me about Days of Our Lives. I mean, days of our eight lives. years you've been yeah. on that now, or what? Yeah. Tell yeah. me about. Well, it. Uh, tell me about. How that, many Donald? years? Eight. Tell me about that. Donald. No, twenty-three years. Twenty-three years. Twenty-three. Yeah. That's the reason I can write poetry because I have oh, I have poetry. time and that's uh, it's also helped the help the children. Let me tell you. Let me read one short thing about called uh, uh, growing old. All right. Is growing that, uh, old. This is yeah. This okay. is called growing old. How that's it feels. Scene I know. How it feels to grow old. How does it feel to grow old? I don't know. I guess it makes you more aware of when you're wasting your time, or maybe just more aware and just a little choosier about how you spend it, time that is. Money and food and cars and clothes and lots of other things don't mean as much. But this moment, here, now, that's the ticket. That's the thing that counts. That's it. But now I've said this, I realize I'm just as fond of yesterday. As, as for tomorrow, I can't say a word against it. It's all of them that count, all of them that matter. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, each and every one is important. Did I say all of them matter? That's how it feels to grow old. That's dark. McDonald Carey. That's dark. McDonald is beautiful. McDonald I'm gonna get Carrie. this book. Where can I buy it? It's just coming out. Is it? Oh, yeah. I love it's, that. It's called it's, That Further Hill. It's love. That McDonald Further Carrie. Hill. Mm -hmm. You just said that. Do you have any regrets in your life? Yes. You of course do. I do. I, uh, Mainly, uh, I wish I hadn't uh, been as uh, an unaccomplished drinker as I was. I drank too much. You don't do I've it. Been, it's I've, your birthday. Four years. Four years. Four years. Birthday. Four years. Oh, May. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful yeah. birthday. I love it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. You feel better. What happened in oh, your drinking well, days? The difference <laughs> is right <laughs> here between this book and the first book I wrote. This book I wrote sober. <laughs> the, ah. the, the new one, the third one, is coming out sober. You have another the, one coming out. Yeah, yes. and uh, uh, but there's all the difference. But my, my life is different. I'm, 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 I, I know things that, that I I feel things. What do you that, advise that, that, the that people were out there before? Get drink. You know, my acting is better. It's, 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 it's clear it's mind, cool. clear mind, everything, yeah. right? And what do you advise think, people out there who drink? Don't them? drink. Just realize that you're hurting yourself, that you're killing yourself. All of my friends that are, that are friends, uh -huh. you know, in the business uh -huh. that, have, that, have, that have gone, that, I, right. that aren't here, that are younger than I am, yes. that, have, that have gone. And, you know, you end up insane. Uh -huh. You end up so blurred it doesn't, uh -huh. that life doesn't mean anything, or you end up dead. You wake up fresh in the morning. But to you're... wake up and every uh, day is a wonderful day. A brand new Lord, day. It's... Never been touched. Yep, yep. You can make it. It is wonderful Trouble. out there. Yeah. Just all the difference in the world. You seem happy, McDonald Gary. I am. I you am. get up, you go to work. The show, what time do you have to get up in the morning? Do it Well, when I do it, I'm not, not in every day because in right now I don't right. have a storyline, you know, so I'm not in as uh -huh. much. Though I'm getting one. Francis and I are both getting a, a couple of storylines, I uh -huh. think, this year. And, and, uh, uh, Francis had one last year, and I, I didn't have one for, I haven't had one for about a year or so. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, I, get, when I, I still work, I, you know, I do two or three yes, days yes, a week. Yes. I get up at 4, 4.30, and get down there at 6. Fun to work with the young and, people? Oh, They're sure. Young, young, young people. Yeah. It is fun. 
Yeah, you hope a little of that will brush off, you know. Uh huh. Oh, and, they're so good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, those they're young so kids today. No, kids are marvelous. Aren't they today. wonderful today? These kids are oh, just wonderful. Oh, they're really good. I need to watch them because they're so good. Yeah. How about oh. Rosemary DeCamp? Would you like to do a soap, Rosemary? Well, I, I've Tell me. done a few appearances in them. Right. I, I'm always astonished at the orderliness. They've taken the crazy stuff out that, that happens in pictures, uh -huh. and they're so yeah. orderly, so done so carefully. It's done in a very disciplined way, there's no question about it, but uh, uh, you, you, there's a lot that you, you wish wish for. Uh -huh. the, you wish for more rehearsal. That's yes. the main thing. Yes. That's the thing you... And, and some of the mischief is gone. Yeah, uh -huh. well, the no jokes. time for it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Some of your favorite directors. Who oh, some? Oh, Mike Curtiz, I think. Yes. Uh -huh. He was ruthless. Ruthless, I, I, Hungarian ruthless, you know. You learned just, anything from him? Oh, so yeah. much, yeah. yes. Yeah. And, and Robert Cummings, you know, he was a director. Bob, I he had directed. a couple weeks ago on the show. Yes, I had him I and his son. I had his lovely son, and they were just wonderful. I, I was trying to get a hold of you that week, but evidently you know, I was away. Uh, my, my oldest son uh, used to act with, with his daughter, uh -huh. with Bob Cummings' daughter. They were, uh -huh. they, they were uh -huh. in the, at the Beverly, uh -huh. at Beverly High School. Right. Uh -huh. And they used to come to the house later, just last year, the uh -huh. last couple of years, uh -huh. and uh, I'd rehearsed them in scenes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You rehearsed them uh -huh. lovely. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. I didn't mean it. No, that. that's right. Oh. Bob Cummings. Working with yeah, Bob he, Cummings. He was a very mm. precise director. He, he, there's a little Hungarian in him, too. Uh -huh. uh, do, <laughs> do one for Pink. Pink was very little blood, uh -huh. and there were three rehearsals, you know, one uh -huh. for the camera. Uh -huh. And then you get it done, and we, of course, we did it very fast. Not, same way that soaps are done, but uh -huh. we would show up on Monday morning and he didn't wear his glasses, so by God, everybody had their books closed. Uh -huh. You knew it on Monday morning, everything. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday you had a rehearsal, Wednesday you'd shoot, uh -huh. and it went on like that over and over. You enjoy doing motion pictures or TV or theater? I love it all. You love it all? How I love it all. Absolutely, love I love it all. I love the people. That's showbiz. That's, all, it it is. is. I think I, they say that, and I've always said, no, it's a theater, I love it more, but um, and to be honest, I agree with you, the uh -huh. whole thing. It's, it's, just, it's, it's the everything. People are it's so like generous I said, yes. yeah, huh? yeah. Are you I are you traveling a lot nowadays, McDonald Carey? Or just well, I do a, a commercial for Niagara Cyclo Massage Chairs. Yes. Yes. And wow, how they that? Send me <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> Pleasure <laughs> Island. <laughs> you like massage chairs? Oh, really? Nassau uh -huh. on hey. Monday, Saturday, I'll have uh -huh. you know. For vibrating about four days. Home. That's the oh, vibrating <laughs> all the time <laughs> for the convention. So the things like that, and then I, you know, you go around for, uh, uh, to be shown off as the most mature actor. <laughs> Enduring. <laughs> has, your daughter, Enduring. has your daughter performed in uh, theater or uh, acting at all, the singer, uh, the lovely? Very little, very little. Now, she, why, why is she? she? She's been on our show and uh, uh, on days a couple uh -huh. of times, but she, 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 she went to uh, uh, the American Academy, and George Axelrod saw a picture on our mantle, uh -huh. and so I got to have that girl. He's in London now. George is George in London. Is. Yes. So he brought, uh, uh, we brought her back, uh -huh. and uh, he was in. She was in a picture of his called. Uh, I can't think of the dying thing, but anyway, she was very good in it, and then she got six in a row things on Donna Reed's show. Uh, ah, uh, great. And she played six different things. She played a French countess. She played a, 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 an ingenue uh -huh. on a lassie, uh -huh. and uh, uh, six completely yes. different things. Uh -huh. And then she didn't get any work for three months. She said, "This is no business so for me." She, she said, "I'm going to, I'm going to sing," <laughs> and she, and so she got into singing. Who are some of the favorite ladies you worked with in the film? Oh, Gertie, show? of course, you know. Gertie Lawrence, yes. And Kitty Carlisle is. Um, but there's uh, someone in deep in your heart, uh, McDonald uh, Carey, oh. that you really enjoyed on film. I wish it were rural Rosemary, you know, because we <laughs> well, never. No, we still have that ahead never, of us. That's right. right that's right. Oh, I don't know. I've, I've had lovely, lovely ladies to work with. Frances Reed is so marvelous that I yes. work with on, uh -huh. on the show. And I'm, do you know Frances, by the way? She's a, a she's very active and after. You know, yes, she she's is. vice president. Yes. Uh -huh. and, and she's also she was uh, uh, Roxanne for Jose Ferrer and, uh -huh. and oh, Maurice lovely. Evans. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, um, Who's the lady that, that, that dove into the water? The killer in Hamlet. Oh, What's oh, the matter with me? Uh, that's right. I can't Ophelia. Think. Ophelia. 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 Maurice Evans. Yes. Ophelia. Uh -huh. But uh, he was picky too. So there were, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So a lot of very, yes. very wonderful, wonderful people that I've, that I've played with. And you love them all. Of course. And the, the, the standard answer is always your next one. But yes. no, I'm very happy with Francis. I, mean, I can't both. say that. I'll ask you both. Hollywood's changed a lot. Been we around here. About the, but, yeah, but, but what do you think? Do you think they're going to rejuvenate it really? What do you think? Do you think it's going to happen? I don't know. I want to rejuvenate it in what Well, they're trying to make it, I don't know. You can never bring it back like it was. No. But do you think Hollywood's going to be... Well, you know, Bill Wilson and, and um, Johnny Grant have done a great job, you know. They're, 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 they're trying. They're trying. They're trying very hard. But I think the, the Hollywood Roosevelt and what they've done to that. I love that hotel. It's a lovely hotel, but they'll yeah. never, never make it Hollywood because people come from all over the world and there, right, to Hollywood well, you Boulevard. See, we've lost the thing that we had before. We had the the big companies, and we had the, the sort of team effort going all yes. the time. Yes. It's the very thing that's wrong with our economy right now, the thing that the unions are fighting right now, whether they have a, a team effort or the, uh, you know, uh -huh. have, have it split up, the, the work split up, mm -hmm. and the, the reason we've lost everything to the Japanese because they have the team effort exactly. over there. Exactly, exactly. All <laughs> Russia and, and the yes. United States. Yes. Is, is, yes. I think that's the basic problem. Were you under They're, contract at a studio? When I was at Paramount, Paramount for seven years. Rosemary? Uh, Warner's. Warner's for a long time. Yeah. Was it fun working at Warner Brothers? Yeah, because there were so many great people going on. Everything was going on. There, Tell me you something. Know? Oh, was yeah. Jack Singer. Warner tough? Like oh, he was Cone. mean. Was he it? had a spy he system that wouldn't quit. Maybe. Everybody was wired for the front office, you know. Really? He wanted to get something <laughs> across. You could just say it on the set, and it would be there, and the guy would come down in a little black suit. In a few you minutes. mean you can't say Jack Warner? Uh, and oh, no. Well, we really? never went that far. No, we still wanted to eat. You know, uh -huh. but uh, it was cute the way they'd come down quick in their black suits. I remember that picture with Ronald Reagan. It was called uh, Night on Tonight. It was a great story they bought. Uh -huh. And uh, you couldn't figure out what's the matter with them because you couldn't say epilepsy then. You couldn't even say seizure. Yeah. Really? He was acting so strange. And then finally they had to, they cut my part out uh -huh. and put in Art Baker to explaining what the problem was. I so I, you know, yes. felt a little regretful about that. We never had Did that fair amount of it. Nothing no. Never, never had that. There was a, a, we had a wonderful role that were all together. They uh, uh, see uh, Bill Holden had a, a, a place next Alan, to me, and Alan Ladd Alan was Ladd. there. Oh, and Hope well. was, uh, uh -huh. and there was uh, even, even even though those, those were people that you know that were way above uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. they, and why they, Frank they, Freeman they, wasn't they, interested uh, in uh, making you? No, he was he was very. Don Carey, Cecil B. DeMille, you see him a lot on the yeah, set. Yeah, I never worked for him. Gloria Swanson on the set. Do you ever